I've got an update. We did bring something up. Was it just on the experience? Or maybe it was on last week's drive through Whatever the case. Um, uh, and uh, From Albert. He doesn't say where he's from. Probably hiding out at a secure location. But we had mentioned that, uh, gosh, what happened to Tony Schiavone's son? Remember they did that yeah. angle where Shivani's son got pickled or whatever, and he was broke up about it? Well, because a couple of weeks ago, they had Shivani interview QT for the CM Punk match. And that was where the, I first had the thought, wait a minute, I thought QT attacked Shivani. Why would he be interviewing him now? Like nothing had ever happened. And then I thought about the fact that the son was in the mix. And yeah, yeah, that's why we maybe about and it. we thought it was all been forgiven or and what about Tony's son's promising wrestling career? Because he was going to be training at that point, right? Or was training at that point. So the whole thing, what they said what something on happened? commentary that he was training, I think. Yes, he yeah. was. Well, he was training um, at the Nightmare Factory, was he not or something? Some of the whatever the, the point is. Poor Tony's son got uh, shit knocked out of him in working fashion by QT Marshall as part of this angle that was several months ago, and now we wondered what happened. Well, Albert, from wherever, sent us an update. Hey, Jim and Brian, you asked about Tony Schiavone's son who did the bit with QT Marshall. A few weeks ago, I went to a Comic-Con where Schiavone was appearing. And he did a Q&A. One of the stories he told was about his 35-year-old son wanting to wrestle because we had mentioned Tony's son looked more mature than one would think a wrestling training school student would look and, and also didn't have necessarily a striking physique or over-the-top physical attributes. Well, anyway, Tony apparently told his story. His son called him one day and said, Dad, I think I want to wrestle. And Tony said, I told him, no, you don't. And he says to me, have you seen that Chuck Taylor guy? He looks like shit. If he can do it, so can I. <laughs> and this is Shivani telling this story. This is Shivani telling his story. <laughs> the lead member of the Puddin' Gang, Chucklefuck Taylor, is I t I've been saying this for two years that that you get a guy like that in there with more muffin top than they have in the biggest bakery in town, and it just makes it look like any schmo can do this. And people didn't believe me. And even Tony Shivani's son, Shivani's been around the wrestling business forty years. His son sees Chuck Taylor and said, "Well, hell." Anyway. Albert continues, he went on to say his son started training some at the Nightmare Factory, and they did the bit on TV where his son takes the diamond cutter from QT. After that bit on TV, the younger Shivani stopped training and didn't ask about getting into wrestling anymore. <laughs> Tony said he later thanked QT and Big Show for putting a stop to his son's wrestling aspirations. At 35. I think those would have been more like <laughs> wrestling exasperations instead of wrestling aspirations. Uh, but now, so that's closed the book on a big mystery. That's right. What the heck happened to the, the younger Shivani? Shivani, imagine, would he have worked as Tony Shivani Jr.? No. Well, now think about it. It's no. already, it's a ready-made name. 